name's P. Satan. And how long have you been fighting here with I've Alex? I've been training here with Mr. Uh, Sensei Alex uh, Cantella for about three weeks now. Three weeks. Really, I just wanted to come out here and try something new mm -hmm. and something challenging and uh, something that, you know, that will suit my situation uh, physically mm -hmm. uh, and also mentally as well. Okay, and what situation is that? Uh, I am a bilateral amputee. Um, there are really many sports out there. Well, there are plenty of sports out there, but um, I really enjoy the physicality of the, the jiu-jitsu, uh, mainly because I did some of this uh, grappling while I was in the, the uh, US Army. That's how I was wounded and how I became a, double, a bilateral amputee. Um, and uh, I really wanted to find that challenge that I did have while I was in the military. Um, and I found I, uh, a friend referred me to a, a sensei, Kentella, and um, I figured I'd come and give him a drop on by. And um, uh, on the very first day when I first met him, he said um, he was very inviting, very welcoming. He was very generous and very nice. I have him. Um, and um, he basically said, we're all family here. That's what really sold, like, I wouldn't say sold me, but that's what really uh, locked, you. locked me in. But also, also, you know, you know very, I, I sort of, the way he said it, it really was very authentic. Um, and I and I just came. And as soon as I got my, my gi, which took about a week, and as soon as I got it, I came, and Sensei thought I wasn't gonna show up, but literally no, that I did. I, I came, as soon as I got my gi, I trained the first night, got my butt beat up by Bob, the uh, the dummy. <laughs> um, yeah, he's a, but, um, but still, it was, it was great. Um, just that, the physicality, that feeling that I did have when I was in the military, and also, I, because of my situation, I was, you know, I was always, I wouldn't say angry, but I was very agitated, very um, anxious and everything. And after that first night, I was so relieved. I felt uh, happy. I, it was, it was a great feeling. Um, it was a feeling that I haven't felt in about 10 years. Um, well, well, besides me getting married and having my kids. <laughs> yeah, got us locked in. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not going to forget that. No, <laughs> no. But um, yes, uh, other than that, I mean, just that physicality, that, 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 that competition feeling, that, that rush that I felt when I was in the military mm -hmm. and when I did all the crazy stuff when I was in the Army. Um, it was just, it felt great. And it wasn't just me seeing, it wasn't just me seeing or feeling the result. When I went home that night, my wife and my family saw that result as well. And when my, you know, um, when I before I came, before I came to the academy, um, my wife mentioned to me saying she didn't want me to come. After my wife saw me the first night and the second night, my wife just encouraged me some more. She said, "Just go, 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 go," and she's been pushing me to go every night. Um, I mean. She has been behind me 100% and she is welcoming, you know, you know uh, this new this new venture of mine right now, this new journey I'm, I'm on right now. And that's what I'm, I'm learning right now because um, this is what Jiu Jitsu is all about, I believe. Because after training, I mean, I've only been here for three weeks. I've, I've been rolling, grappling with a couple of guys here. And I realized that this is more of a journey than just, uh, you know, one of those sessions where you come in, you learn. No, it's not. Um, just grappling with some of these guys out here is amazing. I mean, I'm learning how. I'm learning about patience, about stability, about. I'm learning more about my body um, now when I'm grappling than I have since the day I was amputated um, 10 years ago. Um, I've been walking for the past 10 years. I've never done a sport 
without my prosthetic limbs on and this is the first sport that I've done physical sport that I've done without my prosthetic limbs on and it's reju it's, it basically it rejuvenated me this is what jiu-jitsu has done for me mm -hmm. and with the sensei and and the the, um, the brothers I the brothers and sisters I they are wonderful they are so welcoming they have they have put push their knowledge on me, they gave me some knowledge, they fed me their knowledge, they fed me techniques, they fed me, you know, basically what Jiu Jitsu is all about and I have been freeloading and I've been taking everything in and I've really, really enjoyed everything that, you know, this academy has so far has been giving me and I have a feeling that there's plenty, plenty more that, you know, that they have to offer and what or what sense they have to offer too as well because um, I mean I have to admit ever since day one until this day not a single night I don't go to bed without thinking what sensei has taught me and that's the truth I mean there's I mean, I'm, I'm always fighting with myself about before I was always worried about life about how am I gonna take care of my family now with jujitsu, I know how to take care of my family. It's, get, it's, it's taught me patience. It's taught me to keep on thinking, but also at the same time, now I'm also thinking a lot, lot clearer too, because of basically what I broke down with this, what I broke down rapidly. Jujitsu is a chess game. It's a chess game. You got to figure out the next step, not one step, two steps for your opponent. And that's what I'm doing with life too as well. And this is what I'm gathering and what I'm getting from this, this awesome academy and this wonderful uh, sensei. Um.